Our other top story tonight, a family pleading for a driver to come forward in just one of a string of deadly hit and run cases in our area recently. CBS 13's Marley Ginter is live in Carmichael where family members want answers, Marley, after a driver left their loved one to die on the street and still hasn't been caught. That's right, Tony and Elizabeth, just unthinkable. This is where one of the latest hit and runs happened right here along Fair Oaks Boulevard. We're not far from El Camino Ave. This happened about two weeks ago, and still the family has no closure. And we're finding they are not the only ones reeling from a case like this. I quite literally lost my mind. Adriana Jensen lost more than her husband. She lost her best friend. I went in physical shock so bad that my family thought they were going to have to call 911. June 20th, a driver hit her husband Robert on Fair Oaks Boulevard near El Camino Ave, took off, and hasn't come forward. The next thing I had to do was the hardest thing I've ever done, which was call his mom to let her know. And that's her only child. What would you say to that person who did this to your son? I would say, God sees all. Come forth and repent. Lisa Wiley, Robert's mom, says her faith keeps her strong, but it's clear unanswered questions weigh heavily on her heart. By not stopping, that bothers me because that was a human being. Whether it was my son or somebody else, it's somebody's child. Lisa isn't the only mom with that plea. We've covered multiple hit and runs in our area recently, at least five in the month of June alone, and already two more in the first week of July. So while Robert's family wants answers, they're not the only ones. The world has lost its way. Um, people um, have lost their heart, their compassion for humans. How are we supposed to get peace? How are we supposed to move forward? How are we supposed to be comfortable knowing that this person is still out there? So much upset and concern for their own community tonight. I did talk with California Highway Patrol as well tonight. Now, they do tell me they are still investigating this case as well as others right now. And they warn taking off could take you from a misdemeanor to a felony if there are injuries or death involved.